What up, Jippers? L plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And we are in a new system heading to what looks like one heck of a planet. It's a ringed planet and it looks like it's bright red and green. I'm guessing the red is going to be ocean, a bright red ocean. And then green, maybe like some grass, hopefully? Or it could be like gross emerald on a weird barren planet. So I guess we'll see. Any second now! Fingers crossed. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. I'm definitely in the mood for a good planet today. It has been a long day of work, so to come home and find paradise would be... It's going to be horrible now, isn't it? I've jinxed it. I just know it. Oh, it is a red ocean! It is a red ocean! Okay, okay. That's one for one. Have we got trees? Yes! Oh, mama! Okay, let's land. I've got the HUD turned off as well, so I can't... Um, I can't, like, scan planets and stuff from space. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise for me and you. <laughs> My little geck. My little purple geck. He's just a little default geck. We definitely need to do some customizing to make him look cool. I kind of want to go for, like, the all-white stormtrooper type outfit. I feel like that would be quite cool. Storm gecker. <laughs> uh, right, do I want to go... Oh my freaking gosh. I'm having some good luck. Every time I feel like the Xbox has just got some sort of gift for giving me beautiful grassy paradise planets. I used to find actually I've always been quite lucky with planet finds, I guess. Huh? Anyone who's been around for long enough will know that I generally tend to find a lot of good planets. <laughs> I love the way my little get runs. <laughs> Adorable. Um do I oh, I don't know if I wanna like Ooh. I kind of just want to take a, like a nice mellow potter around today. Just taking, we've done a lot of planet hopping, like loads of planet hopping in the last few episodes. Kind of just want to relax, take it all in, and enjoy the views. You know, that's kind of what what today is all about. Oh, we've got like a weird anteater type creature. Let's see what uh, see what his notes say. Fidgety, you and me both, buddy. He's dark. Wait, hold on. What was that? His diet was what? Hey, what did it what did it say about his diet? No no no, scan this guy. Diet is oh, he eats flowers and he buries his food supplies. He is kinda cool looking. Oh he's galloping, he's a little galloping anteater. That's quite a cool creature actually. There's a lot of them as well, huh? What about these fellows? Man, this planet is like it it always takes me a little moment to just take in the beauty and realise that dang, like this. <laughs> This one heck of a place we just found. Just complete fluke. First new system I went to to start. This is like the first bit of recording I've done today as well. I've literally just finished work and I've been like, now I need to go and play some No Man's Sky. And this is what we found. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Right? You happy? I'm happy right now. Uh, let's go. I, ooh. <laughs> I never get over the tiny creatures. I always like, even after all this time, I still find them adorable. This one's got little bioluminescent bulbs on it too. Cute! Vegetation. So everyone here seems to be a herbivore. What about you big fellows? I feel like if anyone's going to eat meat, it's going to be this guy with the big saber tooth tusks. Nope, more dry roots. Oh my freaking gosh! He has metal bones! Wow! Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like punch him and see if... Oh! Broke my knuckles. He's fine. Don't feel bad for him. He's got a metal skeleton. He's freaking Wolverine over here. Whoa, that's cra That's weird. He's got metal bones, but then he's got tusks that look like they're made of normal bone to me. Explain that one, huh? Logic. Oh my gosh. The sky looks freaking lovely right now. That lone tree. I, I've got a thing for that. Like when I see just a lone solitary tree against the backdrop, I always, I'm always like, dang, that's pretty. These headphones are the most frustrating thing. I need to change my headphones. They keep popping out my freaking ear. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I, I don't know. I, yeah, let's just walk around. I said I was going to walk around. I kind of want to go and explore the ocean here. Uh, just to, I, I always think, are we going to get a big mega whale today? We probably won't. I'm trying to like reserve my expectations today. Just, just soak it all in, you know. Just enjoy the beauty. And what a beauty it is. We'll definitely head over towards the trees, though. I love the little geck. Who, like, whoever doesn't play as a geck, I feel like you're just playing the game wrong, you know? <laughs> so many angry- Oh my gosh! 
Have the birds always flapped like that? That bird was like flapping really smoothly. Why do I feel like they used to just go without? Did I make that up? No, I feel like maybe they must have always flapped, right? The animation looks really smooth though. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Beautiful. No, no. Get that little flower back in the shot. How did I? How the? What the frick? Gypped again, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was bright. That's cool though, right? I really hate taking screenshots. I want on a on the Xbox. It's just such a chore. That's the one thing I like. The only thing versus the PlayStation uh, when I'm playing this game that I really miss from playing on the PlayStation. How easy is the screenshot? Oh no, bulbous oil. I'm in creative mode, so I can't die. It's fine. Let's just get it. What? Oh my gosh! It looks like my. <laughs> it makes it look like my head exploded. That would be terrible. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. Okay, let's go. Now I'm gonna make my. No, I'm gonna go to the trees first. We're gonna have a little walk through. The... Oh gosh! Didn't even see him there. Let's get the heck out of me. Man, this place is absolutely awesome. I wish it had denser trees. I think that's what I'm missing at the minute on Paradise Planet. See, this area right here, so right there, that looks like an absolutely awesome forest, right? If the whole planet was like this, or maybe even more dense than that, and like with taller trees in the background and littler trees and stuff, that would just be insane. I want like a really concentrated forest and jungles. That would be, that's definitely one of the things that I would love to see coming beyond. If the Beyond update just adds like full on overgrown, completely wild jungle planets or something like that, that'd be crazy. Oh wow. That's a cool looking tree. <laughs> alright, alright, let's go take a little teeny time. I can't resist. We've gotta to go to the we've gotta go take a little dip in the water, haven't we? We have to. We got to. Oh, we could take the submarine for a spin. That's something I haven't done for a very long time. Oh, look at the beach. I like that. I like when, uh, like, the beachy areas and the rocky areas, like, it just breaks up the terrain a bit. I know that's one thing that I see quite a lot that people complain about is the, is, like, when you, if you land on a planet, it, the planet generally looks pretty similar, the whole thing, right? That's why a lot of people do what I do and they don't stay on a single planet for too long. They kind of hop around. Uh, but planets like this, they do quite a good job of, like, breaking it up. You've got, like, rocky mountainy areas, oceans, little beachy areas, then the foresty bits, then just the regular grassy plains. And, like, it's only subtle differences, right? It's not like, whoa, this is shocking. But it's, oh, my freaking... How dare you, sir? I am the Gek Overlord Supreme. And you're coming at me with sharp claw... But his diet is birds. Are you trying to suggest that just because I have a beak... I'm a freaking pigeon. Is that what you're telling me? Get out of here, fool! Oh, whacked him! Ugh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? I am so powerful! I just punched him twice and he freaking died! I was just trying to give him a little slap on the nose as a warning. I thought he would run away. I broke his neck with a single punch. Holy moly, this gek is powerful. That's right. Remember the name. I haven't actually named it, but remember the name anyway. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go for a swim. We're gonna cool off after the uh, this, this physical altercation. There's still a bit of that first spawn in me, huh? <laughs> okay, down we go. Um, do I want? Is it deep? Is it even deep enough to take the submarine? I know, like I know technically I can use the submarine anywhere. Is there a deeper ocean to come? Super gek! Da -da 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 -da. Gecky power! Yeah. This is definitely some deep ocean right there. I'm gonna summon. Nope. I need to build. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. I need to build the. I was gonna say the Subnautica Bay, the Nautilon Bay. That's <laughs> Subnautica Bay. What the? Uh, I should play some more Subnautica. The new, the new um, Sub Zero, whatever it's called. I was having a lot of fun with that. Oh come on. Let me place this dang thing. How have I forgotten how to, like... No, I just need an area. It has to be underwater, right? Doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. It doesn't make any sense not to be underwater. Why can't I place this thing? Am I being really dense right now? I feel like I'm being really dense. Okay, just let me place it. What the heck? I thought it was, like, flashing red saying I couldn't place it. 
There we go. There we go. If anyone hasn't used the submarine yet, it is 100% my favorite vehicle by a long way. It's just so smooth. Ooh, we have a blood red devil fish. Yikes, that thing looks terrifying. Okay, we're gonna keep on keeping on. I'm hoping we discover a great big whale. Day 364 in the abyss. No whale spotted. I'm starting to get. What's that thing? Like cabin fever? That's what you get if, like, uh, if you're in a closed space for too long, right? Like people on submarines get it and stuff. Oh, we have some regular fishies. Oh no, what are these? These like flatfish things? They're basically sea pigeons. That's not quite the whale that I'm looking for, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back underneath. It sounds horrible until you go under the water, and then it sounds lovely again. It's so weird. But the uh, the sound effects. Oh my gosh, is that a freaking huge cave right there? I am going in. We are doing this. Is it a huge cave or is it just a little tiny dip? I guess we are. Oh yeah, oh yeah, cave explorer. Okay, it was a very small cave. Unless this opens up into another bigger cave, I'm so gonna get stuck here, aren't I? Can I, can I like get out, swim, and then summon it again on the other side? I'll be a little cheeky again. Oh wow. Okay, we are in. Oh, this is a, this is another. Okay, we're gonna just go explore some caves. Watch me come out of the cave as soon as I say that. Oh man, I, I wonder if there's any creatures down in here. Oh, this is this is a really cool cave system that we just found underneath the uh, underneath the ocean. The jetpack animation in the ocean looks so cool. Looks like bubbles are coming out of my hands. <laughs> uh, right, let's. Man, this would be um, this would be absolutely terrifying in real life, wouldn't it? If you would, obviously you'd be in a scuba suit. But, uh, People do that. That's like an actual thing, isn't it? Like a, a genuine thing that people just spend their life doing. Like doing really dangerous, like ocean cave dive, like ocean cave exploration. And people die doing it all the time. Like you get a problem with your tanks at like ridiculously like deep depths, stuck in a cave system somewhere, or you get caught in a in a narrow opening that because they go through like really dangerous stuff, right? Caving just normally is really dangerous, but doing it like deep in the ocean is even more dangerous. And people do that. I feel like that would be fun, but also quite scary at the same time. I remember I watched I watched a show on that. I can't remember. I don't, I don't know if it was just about that or if it was just another show that that was included in. But I remember watching something like this group of people did a. It was like one of the most like renowned, dangerous ocean cave dive type things that they were doing, and they do it. They did it in like a group, and uh, I think two of them, like they went through a narrow thing, and two of them never like never made it out on the other side, which is like that would imagine that'd be terrifying. Oh wow. Oh, that is one heck of a view. Alright, give me give me give me the screenshot. Oh the ocean is actually bright red. How did I forget that? <laughs> that was the first thing we saw when we were out in space was like how red the ocean was and I totally forgot. Oh that looks cool. I think it looked cooler at night though, right? Yeah. It almost looks like an eyeball. Like in the cave system. I like it. I like it. Now let's get one. Ooh, we got an oyster. I will pillage the oyster. Let me go with that. I would never have spotted that if I hadn't just happened to look up. Can you open these things? Ah, yeah, yeah I remember. I don't like. I do not need that at all because I'm in creative mode. But <laughs> I'm, you know, you know the gag. I see treasure. I take it. Uh, let me. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, without the HUD on, it's just. Like, it's really difficult to remember how to play. <laughs> I want to terrain, terrain manipulate it. That's what I want to do. All right. I'm going to take a little look around. I want to explore the ocean a little bit. I know it's a bit samey. So if I find a cool ocean creature, we'll come back. If not, I think we'll either have a look at this planet in the daytime or we'll find another planet. So, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, we are back. And the reason we are back on this same planet is because we found some goodies. Look at these little ocean beaver things. They look like creatures that should be on land, but they're not. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I'm just kidding. That's not what we found. 
fooled you. I found something much better. I think. I glimpsed it and I was like, time to start recording again. As I was just terrain manipulating my way out of the cave. Oh, actually, I probably lost it because I've been talking too much. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? I promise you, there was a big fishy. No, I've actually lost it because I was talking so much gibberish. <laughs> Oh, let that be a lesson to me. Holy freaking heck. Well, we know it's here. There's definitely a big fish on this planet. So I know to stay and look for it at least. I've got the HUD back on just so I can scan for red dots in the distance. Oh, I can't believe that. I only, I only started recording because I... Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I've got him in my sights. Okay, that's a crab. That is not the creature I'm looking for. Oh, no. I accidentally... I accidentally trapped this guy in a little puddle. Let's, let's free him. There we go. Oh no, he's gone deeper down. That did not work as intended. Can I like lift him up? I've trapped this creature. I'm gonna go into uh, first person mode. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, where the frick did he go? Okay, well he was sneaky. Look at this! Ah, what? It was a ghost! I, what in the world? Where did that go? Why did it go? You guys saw that, right? I didn't make that up. There's a freaking scorpion creature. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh. What is happening? What is happening? Who is doing this to me? Is it because I changed the first person view? Has that messed something up? All right. Let's go back then. In that case. I don't, I don't think that's what it was, but something's not right. Some, someone is trying to set me up. Okay. I've scanned all of those. I lost the guy that was... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. There is... There he is! There he is! There he is! We have a big boy! I don't know what he looks like. I didn't get... Very, I literally just saw the tail and I was like, start recording and then I freaking lost him. <laughs> but we found him. I knew he was here. Oh, there's a waterfall. That's weird. Oh, 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 oh. He is... Is he an angry boy? He is a very angry boy. Oh. Oh, he has got a pointy nose, too. Where is he going? Oh, that's cool with the uh, the other guy crawling right next to him. Oh my freaking gosh, he just went to eat that thing. Oh, holy moly. That That is freaking huge. Because this creature, when I swim next to it, is like about the same size as me as a gek. This is a, that is a crazy looking creature. What the heck? Okay, that is... That looks awesome. <laughs> and then we got this thing. He looks like a goblin shark. Oh, those things are terrifying. Have you guys seen goblin sharks? If you haven't seen a goblin shark, just pause the episode right now and Google a goblin shark. It's the stuff of freaking nightmares. Okay. You are an absolute beauty. You're telling lots of lies, though, to get a nose like that. There we go. There we go. Of course we have to take some screenshots of this majestic beast. Does he look good in the nighttime? He looks better in the daytime. Oh, oh, and the like the blood red uh, ocean as well makes it look like extra spooky. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. That is freaking terrifying. <laughs> His dead black eyes. Is he trying to eat that? Was he trying to eat that fish, or was he just having like a bit of a, a bit of an episode? Ooh. Whoa, he is quick. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen a... Uh, can they actually eat the other creatures? I don't think I've ever seen a fish do that. Oh my. Oh, that was uncomfortable. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! He just ripped into... I just like spat everywhere. <laughs> he just freaking ripped into smithereens. That was brutal. <laughs> what the heck? He was just like... Ah! Oh my gosh. And now he's... Is he just eating him? Oh. Let's... Can I like trap him in a... In a deep cave? <laughs> oh. Oh. He is smarter than I thought. Oh my gosh. He... Oh, he's got like... He... I didn't even realise, but he's got like the red markings and stuff, which kind of match the planet. Oh yeah! That would be... Oh no, no. Come on. Come back. <gasps> oh. Oh, you can just like see him peeking over the... Uh, over the grass. Just a little glimpse of him. I want to get a cool picture of him, like, in the shrubbery. Come on. Come. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. 
I like it. I, I, I feel like there's a really good picture opportunity here. If I can just get it right. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Look at it! Oh, what a beast! Okay, that was cool. That was a good find. It's been so long since I saw a freaking big fish. I was starting to think they just disappeared and I'm never going to see one again. Why is this waterfall thing? He is just ripping up all the fish. He's like super aggressive. Holy moly. My little, my little gate just floating there like, ooh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I kind of want to just stay and swim with this thing now. Well, this was definitely a good plan. What is this? This is what's like tripping me out right now. What, what's happening here? Is this just a weird glitch? Has anyone seen that before? It's almost like a geezer eruption. Oh, maybe there is a... Maybe there's like a... One of those spouting rock things underneath there. In like a cave area and it's like glitching through the surface or something. It's kind of cool though, right? It's like a little water fountain. He... This... This fish might have a really uh, deadly... Set of weapons on his face, but he's not very smart. I mean, that goes for both of us, but... <laughs> uh, where you going, buddy? <laughs> Uh, we're just going to pretend that he's eating the foliage. Oh! Oh, hello! Okay, that's that's a cool little picture too. My pet fish. <laughs> oh man, there's, there's something cool about them, right? We definitely- oh wow, oh wow, that size comparison was great, look at that. You like you just cannot. This is why I can't wait for VR. Finding something like this in VR is going to be absolutely insane because you just don't get it. Like for some for whatever reason, the perspective just doesn't quite come across until you like zoom out and look at your character compared to it or something. Even in first person mode, they look small, right? They don't look like big sharks or anything. And then you zoom out and you're like, oh yeah, it's massive. And I remember doing that with the Nomad. I remember the uh, the Nomad Exocraft. I remember. I took a shot in an episode a long time ago when I found one of these kind of creatures and it was my nomad in the water and then like uh, I'd taken the picture so the nomad was like you could see it right next to the fish swimming near the surface and the fish was like two and a half times the length of the nomad exocraft which is absolutely ridiculous but it just doesn't feel like that when you see it swimming like this it doesn't feel that big so seeing it in VR is going to be an absolute trip just being like oh my freaking gosh there is a ginormous shark right in front of my face and hopefully they're gonna like scale some creatures up and we'll get some bigger stuff as well i'm still excited that maybe that will happen so yeah what a day what a what a great uh, first episode for me to start recording today anyway i think that's gonna do it for this one we found a beautiful grassy planet with lovely red oceans and a deadly freaking terror shark that tried to kill everything in its sight i still can't get over how he just ripped that fish to smithereens i feel kind of bad for him but not too bad. It was amusing to watch. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. Hopefully, you enjoyed that one. I will catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. Take care, guys. And peace. And, of course, before we end the video, I want to give an absolutely huge shout out for those Patreon supporters that have stuck with me. Akak, Anarchy, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Fuchsia, Jeremy J, Joannes A, J Technique, Kyle Culver, Lukash M, Lyle, Mac for a Day, Mark F, Mark D, Mingri, NTB, Ongrad, Autumn Long, Rasmus K, Technical Gaming 101, The Golden Geck, Todd C, Todd H, Vanilla, and Oivind S. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to support me.